time, my Lord, you will never leave us nor forsake us, Lord. Oh, Lord, we shall call upon you, Lord, and you will answer us, and you will answer us, and you will be with us in trouble, with us in trouble, and you will deliver us, oh Lord, and honor us, and honor us, you will, Lord, deliver us, and honor us with long life, will you satisfy us, O oh Lord, and show us our salvation. Now, precious prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report, the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report team. I'm going to now start praying some spiritual warfare prayers from a prayer book template by Mark I. Bubeck. I'm going to pray several selected prayers that I'm going to pray by random as the Holy Spirit uh, leads me to pray for all the prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report and over myself as well because I'm part of the 2020 prayer warrior team of the Zeph Daniel Report. And I'm going to pray also for all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel staff team too, so of the Zeph Daniel Report. So I'm going to pray the first prayer that I'm praying from this pamphlet, the Spiritual Warfare Prayers by Mark I. Bubeck. It's the prayer title, Prayer to Wear the Armor of God. So I'm going to pray that first. I'm going to be praying several prayers as the Holy Spirit lead me in this prayer booklet, template, or whatever, pamphlet, or whatever. Help me, Father. I thank you that I, myself, and all the 2020 prayer warriors on the, we put, Father God, help me, Father, I, myself, and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report, we put on the armor of you, Father God, with gratitude and praise. And Father, I thank you that you have provided all that we need to stand in victory against Satan and his kingdom. Father, I thank you that we confidently take the belt of truth and thank you that Satan cannot stand against the bold use of truth. The bold use of truth. Thank you, Father God, for the breastplate of righteousness, and we embrace that righteousness which is ours by faith in Jesus Christ. And we know that Satan must retreat before the righteousness of God. Father, I thank you that you have provided the solid rock of peace for all of us, Father God, for all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report and over myself and your people. And Father, we claim the peace with you, Father God, that is ours through justification. We desire the peace of you, Father God, that touches our emotions and feelings through prayer and sanctification, according to Philippians 4, 6. 
Eagerly, Lord, we lift up the shield. We lift up the shield of faith, Father God, against all the blazing missiles that Satan fires at us. And we know that you are our shield, Father God. We recognize that our minds is a particular target of Satan's deceiving ways. We cover our minds with the power helmet of salvation. With joy, we lift the sword of the Spirit, Father, which is the Word of God, which is your Word, Father God. And we choose to live in its truth and power. I ask, Father, that you enable us to use your word to defend ourselves from Satan and also to will the sword well to push Satan back to defeat him. Thank you, dear Lord, my Heavenly Father, for prayer. I ask that you help us and myself to keep this armor well oil with prayer. All these petitions are offer you through the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. What a beautiful prayer, uh, guys. It's beautiful to pray. I love to pray that over myself at times and over other Christians and stuff. So that's one of the prayers that the Lord is leading me to. And then I'm going to go to the next one in a minute. Now I'm going to do prayers for revival. Heavenly Father, I come before you to plead your mercy over our sins and my own sins and the sins of other believers and the sins of our nation in America, Father God, and any nation in the world. Father God, for all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report, whatever nation that they live in all over the world. Father God, may you judge not this nation and the, our nations, Father God, with wrath and fury as upon Sodom, but judge it with a mighty outpouring of conviction of sin, Father God. May sinners groan under the burden of their guilt until the people cry out as did those at Pentecost. What shall we do? Father God, that we will ask, what shall we do and what you want us to do, Father God? I praise your holy name that there is sufficient measure of grace through the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ to answer this cry. I wait, Father God, we wait for the Holy Spirit to prepare and bring us all to revival. To revival of repentance, of course, Father. And I ask and repentance and deliverance, Father God, and revival being delivered from our demons too, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name that caused us to sin and do iniquitous stuff in the first place. I ask this all with praise in the merit of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, some of the last part of the prayer, I added a few things there. So as the Holy Spirit led, so I'm not saying exactly everything, especially at the end of the prayer, I didn't. Loving Heavenly Father, I see about me, myself, and all of us, your people, and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zev Daniel Report, brokenness and a need. I see great needs in my own heart and the hearts of all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zev Daniel Report and the hearts of your people and our families and in my family among our fellow believers and in my community and our communities and cultures. I ask that you teach me and all of us, Father God, all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zev Daniel Report and your people, period, to teach us to care and to pray about those needs as your servant, Nehemiah, learned to pray. I ask that you unveil your presence among us, among all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zev Daniel Report, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name and among your people and among me. And that you will draw near to us that we might experience the brokenness and the awareness of our sinful need. Father God, that I affirm that revival comes as people become aware of the near presence of our holy God. It's in the name and finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ that I pray, Father God, this, situ this over us, over myself and all the 2020 prayer warriors and all the people in our nations, all your children. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that this prayer is done in Jesus Christ's name. For prayers for revival in Jesus Christ's name. Now I'm going to do prayer for repentance. L Loving Heavenly Father, I come and 
again to worship you in the wonder of who you are. And I thank you that all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report come again to worship you in the wonder of who you are, Father God, to worship you, Jehovah Yah, and worship your son, Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Father God, that I myself and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report and your people, Father God, your children, we confess our sins to you, dear Heavenly Father. And I ask that you will wash me and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report and all your people, Father God, that you will wash and clean us in our Savior's precious blood from all that offends you, Father God. I, myself, and your people and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report recognize within our persons, Father God, a fleshly nature that can be rebellious in your sight. And I, myself, and all the 2020 prayer warriors, Father God, of the Zeph Daniel Report and your people affirm that in our union with Christ Jesus in his death, we are dead to the rule of the fleshly nature. While the I, myself, and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report and your people, Father God, desire the new nature you have placed within us to be in charge through the power of our Savior's resurrection, which is Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for having made this new creation in righteousness and true holiness so that I, myself, and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zev Down Your Report and your children, Father God, can love you deeply and serve you fully and sincerely, Father God, I must add. And may your Holy Spirit, Father God, enable me and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeb Daniel Report and your people to manifest before you and others the fruit of your full control, Father God, the control of the Holy Spirit. I myself confess and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeb Daniel Report and your children confess that as believers, Father God, we show our poor, blind, and naked condition. Thank you that our Lord Jesus Christ has invited us to come and buy from him gold refined in his disciplining fires. Father, I, myself, and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report and your children, we want that gold for ourselves and for your church, Father God, for the body of Christ. And I ask that you anoint our eyes and anoint my eyes with the eye saw that enable us, that enables me to see things as our Lord Jesus Christ, as my Lord Jesus Christ see them, I, Lord Jesus Christ sees them. I myself and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report and your children, Father God, we base every request on the merit of our Lord Jesus Christ, finished work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father God, that this prayer is done in my life and the lives of all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel Report in all the lives of your children everywhere in this world. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Now I pray another prayer, prayer to know and speak truth. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I myself and all the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zev Daniel Report and your people claim the protection of the belt of truth described in Ephesians 6.14. Father, I, myself, and all your children in the 2020 prayer warriors of the Zeph Daniel.